You are still watching Ways Now Flight Attendant Safety Professionals Day. is observed annually on July 19th. The day is marked to appreciate flight attendants for their important work they do during flights. Now, the holiday was proclaimed on July 13th, 1990 by former President George Bush. Uh, flight attendants strive to make air travels as comfortable, as um, enjoyable as possible, as well as guard and um, the guard the safety of the aircraft and passengers right their professionalism has ser saved many passengers from injury or death and continues to increase the margins of uh, safety especially when you're on board so happy flight safety professional day very in day? very interesting flight day safety professionals professional day. day very that's good like, very very that's good that's the people who teach yeah. about yeah so i mean like attendants yeah. are a major part of oh, life yeah, yeah. like literally the whole <clears throat> flying experience i mean being in they the just make you almost. comfortable yeah they make you comfortable but you see all these people where we see some some people that have they have zero etiquette when it comes to flights <sighs> pray you not sit around near those kind of people yeah. <laughs> It's not even that one. They mess up the, the uh, lavatories. They, oh, gosh. As people coming from all walks of life. Ew. Ew, ew. And, ew. and you're now on to, a 12-hour flight. And those that have to clean up after them. And... It is where. <laughs> it is well. All right, so let's start quickly. What did we find in the news today? Do I have a news story? So, <laughs> <laughs> while you're trying to figure that out. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's a new news report. Uh, alleging that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are taking time apart from their marriage. No. No. I know. No. So according to Radio Online report, Harry, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently taking time apart to rebuild their relationship after a family drama caused a rift in their relationship. But so a source close to the couples told uh, tabloids that uh, personnel and their you know, they had cultural differences, had caused the couple to drift apart. And they say that Harry doesn't fit Markle's tacky, tacky you know, tacky world, like her background. Well, so, yeah, I know. And that has been, the, you know, a question since even while they were dating, then they got married, and then the whole family drama and everything. That has been a major, a major part of the arguments and the whole family having an issue with that and now you know he has gone against his family in terms in different ways not in all ways but in different ways and he has had to ha deal with issues with his family and he has the love of his life also probably having her own um, how like reaction let me put it that way reaction to the kind of um uh confrontation she's been having with the family and the issues that have been prevalent between the two of them and now that has gone a long way in you know there are some questions you will ask yourself and there are some statements he comes from royalty she will never be able to understand how that can affect how he thinks and what his responsibility to his first his family then secondly the kingdom being a prince yeah. And, um, you know, and also on the other side, he has to also understand that she is not royalty. She's, uh, so to say, as they will call her a commoner, tacky, you know. And it's not like she's from a very poor background, but, you know, as it's seen, it's seen and it's said. That's what so, they do. <clears throat> you know, see, <laughs> <laughs> people, were, they were fighting what's this guy's name or Oh my God! Who that man? has gone to start talk yes, TV. Morgan. P.S. Morgan. Yes, Morgan, don't fight and fight that tire, because it seems like he was attacking her. Yeah. But if you get to calm down and take out emotions and just see the sense in what he's saying, yeah, um, royalty is not you just marrying anybody, and not yeah, even the happen. British monarchy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of things have happened. Like when I was watching the coronation of um, now King Charles, when I was watching the coronations, I felt really bad. I felt really bad because, I mean, Harry was just there. He was just there. You know, making no be like, see, I know, attend. You could tell that, you know, um, he felt a bit... I, I, I don't know, but I felt very bad on his behalf because 
there were so many things that would have happened that he would have been part of that, you know, yeah. that whole ceremony mm -hmm. and all of that. It was it was history being made, right? And, you know, and he was just completely not in the picture. Like Even though he was there, he was like a guest there, which was not it, right? And these are the, some of the consequences of the actions or the decisions that they took, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, many things have happened over time. The, um, they did some interview with um, Oprah. Even uh, as at June um, this month, I think it was about 15th of June, Spotify had canceled a very big, uh, what's it called, um, big, uh, what's it called, podcast deal that they had with uh, Meghan Markle. So a lot is happening, right? You know, it was supposed to be a multi-year deal that they had with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. A lot is happening, and it seems like everything is going against even them even advancing forward. Again, because you really cannot, there are some things, there are some battles you cannot fight, you know, from the outside. So even if you're trying to make certain kinds of reform, make it a bit more, you know, welcoming and flexible, because I can get it that the British monarchy might have been a lot rigid and all of that, but even welcoming you alone into the family showed that, okay, there were some capacity for them to be able to um, accept certain kinds of realities and new norms, right? Like you put it. But when it comes across like an outright rebellion or something, right, you also meet that resistance. So cases where even now that they thought certain kinds of business transactions would have happened, their movies or whatever and all of that, none of all those things are happening because almost like, you know, the cancel culture, everything is just being canceled. Now, I don't know the particular reason why the Spotify... Um, there was, but that is the most recent hit to them. And this is, it boils down to economics, right? Um, Prince Harry, I think they said they also withdrew his security, um, you know, um, what's it called? His security. So, I mean, there's just a lot that is happening. Mm -hmm. And it is only, like I would have been saying, if this did not happen, I said, okay. But the truth is I was really expecting it because, you see, when there's a lot of strain and a lot of attack from everywhere, it would affect the relationship. Why did we even do this in the yeah, first place? Yeah. So I'm not sure about the whether it's true or not true, but I'm saying that, you know, mm -hmm. I if I hear this, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Because, again, um, when relationship is, is being slammed from all sides, like, okay, if it's okay, let's even try to see what is working. You face business, business is not going, you face this, this is not, family is not, you know, so there will be a strain and it will definitely get to that point. You know what, let's take a break. Let's take a chill pill. Let's go and reevaluate. Let's um, assess the situation and see how we can move forward, you know. I just he's hope. He's coming to Africa. Yeah. You know? He's coming to Africa on a solo trip. Hey. Wow. That's part of the time apart. So uh, that's. When is, is he coming to Nigeria? I don't know. Hey, but welcome, I know he always goes to like South Africa, mm, Ghana, Nigeria, and all those places. Ghana. Let them come to Nigeria now. We'll help him. Know. We'll help him do factory resets. Mm. <laughs> but the truth well, is, I have to have money for the next. <laughs> no, but I'm, but I'm trying to say to you that it is it is difficult, it you is. know, yeah. especially again the fact that she was re, she was remarrying. You understand? There were so many things, I, I yeah. and I and I think she was not really completely fair. She to the royal family. She wasn't fair. Yes, yeah, she Personally, wasn't completely that's fair. My, that's my own. Because you see, you, fair? you see, when you talk about compromises and all of those things, okay. right, they made a lot of compromises. Yeah. yeah. Because uh -huh. royal family yeah. not be that kind of family, say just marry any mm -hmm. kind, you know. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, you know, she was a divorcee, she was a lot of things. But yet they still say, okay, with welcoming, and at least the least you could do is, you know what, let me suppress some of this, um, whatever that I have, and let me try to see, okay, come from a place of understanding. But she was not even willing to and do she, that. I feel like she should have known she was going to be up for things like this. No. So she should have prepared herself in terms of mindset. That's what I'm so saying. So that it wouldn't affect you this quickly. She couldn't because you didn't think about your children. You didn't think about a lot of things. She's coming from a place of... In her own Human rights. Life, eh. In her own right, she's a celebrity. Mm. In her own right. Which is fine. American culture is, as a celebrity, everything that happens, you monetize it. Mm. You can see a book deal. You true, can see a book true, deal. true. But the royal family thrives on being conservative and being discreet. In fact, before they went on social media, they had to do a proper yeah. approval from the, the so this thing. She, she, she is working off, he loves me, that should be enough. But mm, it is yeah. never it's enough. Not, it's when it comes to the other part. Built, I mean, he's been raised on protocols. Thank you. Yeah. Protocols he can't... They can manage, they can bend a few, but the monarchy is the way it is because the, those protocols exist. Exist, true. So for you to now 
put him in a situation where he's at loggerheads with his family. Just so it's either you choose me or them or that kind of situation. I, I, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it was fair. I, I, don't, think I don't think it was fair. Sadly, you know. I pray that they're able to, well, you know, exactly. work yeah, things out. Yeah, because it won't be good news. Yeah, because but everybody is saying that we said it. it was good because that is exactly what will happen. Yeah. Everybody will say, but I told you people. And it's an experiment. They would never try again. Again. Being a black person and all that, it's, they would never try uh, again. They would never They'll try general, again. They, it will, there will be a lot of yeah. Yeah. backlash from yeah. this yeah, if no. it doesn't work out. Yes, so. Don't spoil it for all of us. We will, we, we don't the eye, right? don't the eye say, ah, maybe there will be hope for me one day. <laughs> What's your problem? Serious? Yeah. <laughs> I have to say my mind. You think me, sir? <laughs> Serious? Okay, mine is um, annoying mm. and um, sad. And I'm asking myself, how did we get to this point? But let me read the headline. Um, passengers to undergo BP sugar level check before boarding at airport reps the house of representative has called on the ministry of aviation to ensure that passengers at the airport check their blood pressure and sugar level before boarding a resolution followed the adoption of emotion by rep kalejai paul apc lagos a plenary in abuja on tuesday the law make i can go on and on and read and he says that it is a priority for them wow. that, um, you know, he said that um, traveling in Nigeria is physically demanding and stressful for many passengers. So um, combined with potential health risk and whatever. Um, um, and then he said that um, it is imperative to prioritize the health of individuals traveling through, um, traveling long through our airports, adding that the notion aims to ensure their access to essential health care and all that. And I'm asking, for me, the question is, first of all, what triggers your high blood pressure? What tri I, It's none of your business. <laughs> if I can afford to buy a ticket, are you telling me that I'm not going to fly just because you think that my blood pressure is Wait, high? wait, wait. May I help you? May I help you? What is his name again? Representative <laughs> Kalida. I Representative Kalejai, let me beg you in God's name. If you really want to do this, no, me, I don't get problem. You can actually check people's blood pressure. But check people's blood pressure on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Check people's blood pressure on Biniara Road. Check people's blood pressure that are driving on the road because they will spend 50 hours for a trip that's supposed to be th five minutes. So you are talking about like it misplaced priority. Do you understand? Like literally, people would de develop high blood pressure and sugar level. On your roads, because guess what? You are supposed to have a journey of 10 minutes. You end up spending three hours on that journey. Why would you not develop high BP? Or even flight now, flight, did they go? Is it flight? Flight is too fast. Even try to do an investigation and find out who is stealing their life. I mean, <laughs> they are stealing. No, not me. That was wrong. Wrong. No, they are. No, what I mean is that they are pressing issues. Yes. They are pressing matters. Even within. No, 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 no. His concerns are very valid. A lot of us are dying oh, of high BP. Please. Let's be serious. Okay, no. so Let us be serious. But I'm saying that he's channeling this this test at time to the no to the wrong uh, flight. There's no flight that you do one hour now. No, most of the flights with wait now. Most 50, of the flights within Nigeria 50 55 minutes. Now they tell you. So yeah, they beg and say, let him channel this blood pressure checks eh to the right channel where people are actually dying of blood pressure it, it, on the road. Why don't they know this thing? <laughs> Oh, it just sounds it like it. foolery every time it comes up. Come on. No, 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 no. When he's, they pose no, this no, no, thing, no. is he's, it supposed he's, to be that they're doing no, something? No, 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 He cares about the, well, the health care of Nigeria. I'm serious. This is Why something that he has done. No, I'm, I'm trying to be serious. That Let me tell you what he... name on this Yes, uh, Representative Kaleja, you care about us. Oh, my God. You know, I, I like your... This, you care about us. But you know what? Channel that blood pressure test to your roads, not on the flights. So this is a perfect, another perfect opportunity for airlines to delay your flights further because that excuse would be that, oh, there's a mandatory law that requires us to mm. check your... Why make this thing mandatory? Why? Have they passed it into law? Who cares? And I don't even bring it up in the first it, It's not even something that should be on, you know, right oh, now. Wouldn't I beg and say, make a channel and go to the right place? This is the, this is the wrong channel. Air, airline is the wrong place. Or can go to what is it they call her? Go to our road, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Bini or a road. If uh, if uh, what is it? Lagos or the state? Yes. Yes. I was about to say it can just. 
We need to <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Please, let's discuss our children. We need them to start to make money this summer. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>